Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to attempt to get a tier four, tier no, tier three blood orb, and we're going to be using this little guy's uh, relatives, hopefully. So I'm going to cut back when we're ready and then see what happens. All right, so it's been a little while, and I've left a Steve's factory manager feeding these chickens. Feeds them uh, seeds if they're available. We have. Let's just say enough eggs to last a while now. That's not what was supposed to go in there. So we'll put those in there. Pull these out. And let's go get the rest of them. Since there's a bunch of them. See if we can get as many out of here as we can since the vacuum hopper's doing its best here. And then we'll see how much experience we got. Basically what this thing was set to do was, I want to say it was every 30 seconds it checked to see if there were uh, carrots or seeds that it could pick up. And then every five minutes it dropped them. So what it did was it basically fed this flower down here, our polydisiac or whatever that gets called, and tried to keep, yep, tried to use up all the seeds. So. If I was to throw these seeds in there right now, it would start the process again. Man, they're just putting it all like crazy. All right, we're going to get situated, and uh, then I'll be back. All right, we're going to try again, and we're going to see what happens. i got enough chickens in here to sink a ship. Ready when you are. I'm just going to start swinging. And go. <laughs> this is, just seems so unfair. <laughs> How's it looking? Still staying full. Good, because I'm running out of pigs. Alright, we're getting down to chickens soon. Alright, getting into the chickens. chickens still holding strong and oh I found a pile of them. holy smokes they were wedged there in it goes okay it's done all right I guess we got it we I'm have hope. magician's orb okay um you want me just to kill the rest of these chickens um, we should probably cull their numbers a bit, so I'm going to let the orb charge. Okay, good, because, wow, there's, yeah. So we just sit here smacking chickens. Well, just don't kill them all. It'll uh, well, allow us to essentially throw a lever and start building it up. Well, we have enough eggs up there to repopulate, I believe. Plus, this will let us properly build this pen. Okay, I... <laughs> I think I got them all. Apparently you found one. Yeah, there were a couple of escapees because they got, like, <laughs> pressed through the wall. I broke one of the fence gates, and they just kind of spewed out. Uh, like, how is this physically possible? Oh, my God. <laughs> chickens everywhere. All right, so what we did here is I built one of these uh, fallen canadas, and I put it on a little floaty thing. We'll have to go over how to make those later. We figure since we got the orb using piggies and chickens, it's okay to use this now. So we're using that to create ritual stones and, and things like that that we need. So that we can uh, move on to rituals. Um, right, a ritual of binding, I think, is what we're aiming for now. And then uh, hopefully once we get to that point, I'll be able to show that to you. So hopefully I'll be back still. All right, so we're going to make some of these uh, endo flames so we can get our uh, little regen flower moving. So to do that, we're going to need some of the uh, red mana, red brown, red brown, mana brown. One, two, three, four, and yeah, back with it and stack. And let's take a look here. So to do this, oh, that didn't work at all. Okay, so we need, actually I don't need to do that. Let's just do it this way. It'll be a little easier. So we need one mana, one normal, 
one mana, one normal, one of those, one of those. And we go from here. Fuck it. Alright. And we do it again. One. Uh, not literal one. One of these, one of these. These and these. Okay. That gives us two so far. Alright, I'm going to make two more endo flames and then uh, get some coal and see if I can get these suckers moving along. Okay, quick and dirty lesson here on creating the floating functional flowers. First thing we need is glimmering flowers. So we're making 16 of those. Now we've got the 16 glimmering flowers. We've got 16 of the pasture seeds, which we get by throwing grass into a, a mana pool. And then from that we need dirt. That gives us floating floating shining flowers. They'll create like a they'll be like a light source. We combine those with the functional flower of our choice and now they float. Made these because the uh, the exo flames that I created to power our little regen flower were uh, fuel intensive so I'm gonna give this a shot. So I'm gonna get this set up and then I'll be back. Alright so we are ready to start the ritual. Okay go ahead and let's do it and see what happens. You got the magic crayon. Trying to find the right one. We, yep. need a, we need a diamond sword, don't we? Yep. All right, well, we'll have to do that. And how much blood does it take to launch this one, do you remember? 5,000. Oh, that's not bad. <clears throat> Veil of Evil. Yeah, there's some interesting ones in there. Plea of Delayed Insanity. What's that do? That suppresses warp effects. <laughs> there's suppresses a them. There's a backlash if you leave it, apparently. There's a uh, apparently a device you can make, I don't know, a thumping tinker or something like that, that creates this little, it looks like one of those static balls, you know, the ones you put your fingers on and the lightning arcs to it? It apparently burns up Mortis, and it, it sucks the warp out of you and into the little orb. <clears throat> so there we go. Now I'm going to put some torches around the edge, that way we don't have to worry about nasties. And here, here, and here. And we don't need this. The magnet will help this. Oh, good point. Oh, we need a ritual stone to activate it. Yep. I'm going to toss my orb on the altar for now. All right, I'm going to make a diamond sword. Actually, I think I'll make two. All right, so we're going to make the swords. We're going to activate the ritual, and in theory, we should come out of this with. We need two to make a lava blades. crystal, which means we need three buckets of lava, two pieces of glass, two pieces of obsidian, and a diamond. Um, diamonds, we got. We still got thirty-eight. Uh, I got a barrel of lava here, so we should be good for that. The rest of it, I didn't really hear. <clears throat> glass and obsidian. Um, we have three obsidian left. It's in the chest by the uh, altar. Good. Just enough. And then how many buckets of lava? Three. Three buckets of lava. So I think got that, so I will get the rest of the pieces. Yeah, I'll bring the lava down in the glass. How much glass do you need per? Two. Okay. All right, so there's the first three buckets of lava. And too much. One, two, three. Oops. One, two, three. And two glass each. So four glass. Okay, so I got six buckets of lava, four glass. How many diamonds? Uh, it's one diamond each. We're okay. going to be one obsidian short. Hmm, okay. I'll see if I can find some. Just need one more piece, and I can make two crystals. All right. Well, we'll start out with making one, just so we can get the ritual working. But so here's that, that, and three buckets of lava. Yep. Yeah, heck, I'm just gonna give them all to you. You'll take your lava, and you'll like it. All right. I'm gonna go hit the mine real quick and see if I can find some obsidian. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go dig up some obsidian, and once we have the pieces necessary to activate the ritual, I'll be back. All right. You're here on we more go. often than I am. Good point. All right, here we go. Let's see if it'll activate. 
Oh, it act the the uh, graphics look really neat on these now. Oh yeah, this this guy's doing steady work. All right, let's see what happens. And that's how you make a bomb blade. Let's see what it looks like from a distance. And don't forget to put out the middle fire. They must have increased the radius for damage. So I don't remember the frying from being quite that close. And we now have our matching frisbees of death. And walk. Caution may cause a bad day. So now we just need something to kill with the frisbee. Soul shards only come from actual mobs, right? Not from uh, anything else. Um, not really one hundred percent sure on that. Yeah, I'm not either. The sun's going. Generally, down. it's been monsters. Yeah. All right, so the sun's going down. We want to venture out. Sure. Second. Don't forget to take your sword out of frisbee mode. I'll turn that on because it looks cool. Oh, why is there a piece of dirt? There should not be a piece of dirt missing here. I get the feeling someone broke my dirt. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Critters, critters, critters. Now, I know that she was dying out here a lot, so there have got to be critters around. seeing anything. Gotta be something out here somewhere. Walk out here when I'm trying to find something else and I get swarmed. Maybe they're just not spawning quite yet. Oop, behind us. Creeper! Got a shard. Okay, time to turn this thing into a tier 4. One of these, one of these, 32 of these. Alright, let's see what this does. That nah, didn't make it. There. There. Alright, confirm tier 4. Unfortunately, I don't have a, writ or a divination sigil yet. Actually, let's see what it takes to make one of those. Divination. Um, glass of slate. No, I can make that's that turned off on me. <laughs> that would cause issues. All right, I don't have. Uh, oh, that's right. We gotta put the runes down. All right, I'm gonna go make one of those divination sigils real quick. Run over here and grab the glass. Okay, we are ruined up. Seven. Yeah. All right, coming back. Oh, look, eggs. Oh. Chickens from the sky. Now I need this. One of these. And, okay, so it should be this, this, and there we go. And take that back, and. All right, I'm back up to 9,500 life power. I get the feeling I'd ran out of life points before, and it Tier was... Four. Uh, it was beating on me for it. How much can it hold? Still 10,000? Yeah. It can only <clears> hold 10,000. That, that's you need to make capacity runes to change that. Yeah, good point. Um, I'm going to fill this thing back up again. We can get up an additional fifty or 5,000 pretty easy, can't we? <coughs> what do you mean? Well, I want to make this flower, and it takes 15. Oh, yes, easily. Okay. So we if we're standing in the regeneration, then yes. But first, let's get this thing all get it topped kitted up. up to five thousand. I just about killed myself again. It's Eight thousand. You would not believe the amount of work go. I've gone through. Okay, flower, go. 
Um, maybe I. Hmm. Wait, let me look. It may be. It may specifically be a red flower. It's not a red magical flower. <sighs> I would do it. And how the heck is that thing down there now? Now the frames per second meter is in the lower <laughs> left corner. There's got to be one of these buttons I'm hitting that's sliding around, and I just don't remember what button it is. All right, so it has to be red flower. Uh, it's been so much. It seems like it would have been fitting to have it be a uh, black one. Well, blood magic. Yeah, good point. Red makes more sense. All right, so I got a red one. Luckily, we have no shortage of flowers right now. And take two. There we go. Now it's burning. And let's keep it topped off. Oh, this thing eats power fast. Well, we are losing ground even with this. Come on. Come on. Convert. There you go. Well, I just... It looks... When it was on the altar, it looked like a red poppy. Yep. Get my hit points back. All looks right. like a fl It looks like a bound flower. Yeah. You can't shift click it. So, in theory... I put it right there, and it should pull power from the, Yep, it's pulling power from that pool. It is called the the dot botania colon flower dot bloodthorn dot name. It is fully it's loaded. It's bloodthorn when I look at it. <laughs> oh, I got the wand on. I think that's why. Yeah, if I look at the willa on the top, says what it's actually called. It's fully loaded. It's mana bar. When I look at it with the wand, it's like blood red. It's the color of the life essence. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, we don't have anything around to see what it does. Well, it's supposed to apply wither. Yeah, well, it says like wither weaken, or let's take a look. I'm going to check the book real quick and see. So, functional. No, it wasn't generating. Functional. All right, it says the blood thorn, steeped in blood until it developed a taste for life force and all things, uses mana to inflict an extreme level of weakness on surrounding creatures that is unmatched by any conventional alchemy. <clears throat> I wonder if that counts on chickens. Let's find out. Oop. Yeah, that chicken's got an effect on him. Yeah, it was. It had some type of effect bubbles coming off of it, so apparently it doesn't affect us, but it affects everything else. <laughs> All right. So how much did using that thing cost? Ooh. Well, let's see. You know, I think with this, I think we're gonna call it. We got the blood altar up to level four. Five is gonna require withers, so I don't think that's gonna happen anytime in the near future. I'm going to think about what we're going to do next, and I will be back with something to do next time. Thank you for watching.